Hi, my name is Colette and I am the founder of Laser Classroom and I am very excited to share with you the Lightblocks kit. It's a hands-on kit for kids ages 8 and up uh, for teaching and learning about light and optics. Let's start with taking a look at what is inside the box. So when you open your box, you're going to find at first a protractor and a booklet of activities. The activities in this book are what we'll be uh, using to kind of guide what we go through in this video. There is more information in the book here than what is covered in this video. So um, be sure to pick one up. Uh, also about the book, this book includes uh, both information about uh, and background about what we're going to talk about here in the video and it also gives step-by-step -step instructions for you, the teacher or instructor, and there are also activity sheets uh, in the book for your students to use. So let's move on to the fun stuff. Uh, the first thing you're going to find in your uh, light box kit is uh, a little envelope here and inside here we have got a uh, diffraction grating and two mirrors and you'll notice that the mirror is a little dull that is because it's been uh, coated with a protective plastic and all you need to do is just kind of grab that with your thumb and it peels peels right off and then you have a nice shiny mirror and then in this box over here you have a couple of goodies, um, a set of lenses. One is a trapezoid lens, and these lenses are coated with a, um, like a frosty coating on one side. You always want to put that, uh, that frosted coating down on the, on the surface. It'll make what we're doing easier to observe. The other shapes that we have is a double concave lens, like this one, and a double convex lens, like this one. Also in this little box are two little mirror stands and we'll show you how to stand those mirrors up when the time comes. And finally, you've got your lights. These are the light blocks and your batteries are tucked underneath your tray here and they come separately in a little baggie. Two AA batteries per light blocks and just slide this open here. And on the other side is a switch. There's one that's red, one that's blue, and one that's green. So let's turn them on. Green, blue, and red. The color of the on-off switch matches the color of the light inside, so you know which ones they are. Also, each light block has uh, one side with magnets so that if you have a whiteboard and you want to do demonstrations in front of the classroom, you can stick them to the whiteboard and they will project the light on the whiteboard and it's great for demonstrations. And then also, the, uh, the light block comes with the, a little slit cap on and that allows you to project a line of light like this. And then when you take the cap off, just Pull it off and you can see that leaves it open so that when you shine the light there, now you don't have a little line of light, you have got a whole big swath of light to work with. And we'll be using it both ways, with the line cap on and with the line cap off. So that is what's in your kit. Now we'll get started with the activities. So the first thing that you're going to do is take out your booklet and the booklet is like this. And the first thing that the booklet talks about is that light is for seeing, which sounds really simple. Uh, and it is. It's where kids start. They all have experience with seeing and with light. But it's, if you ask kids, how do you see, they probably won't tell you that light comes from a source, bounces off an object, and is reflected into the eye. They probably aren't going to say that. So we're going to do an activity that will allow them to kind of get their heads around that. And the way that you do that is described in the booklet. And the first thing you're going to do is build a very, very dark cave. 
and you can have fun with this in your classroom by doing it as a project altogether, or you can have it all set up when the kids get there. If you don't have materials to do that, or your room is very bright, you can use a dark closet or any space where it's going to be hard for a lot of light to get in. The object is to create a space where there isn't very much light. And then what you're going to do is cut out several paper dolls. And you're going to do two dolls in each of several different colors. A couple in very dark, like either black or dark construction paper. Another one in either yellow or white paper. And then a final one out of aluminum foil. Uh, out of aluminum foil. And that is so the kids have a chance to predict which dolls are they going to be able to find in the dark space. So you're going to hide one set of dolls in your dark space and keep another set of dolls out on the table for the kids to look at and invite them to uh, suggest to you which dolls they think they're going to be able to find in the dark cave. And uh, write down their responses and keep track. And then you're going to send them into the cave and have them actually test their hypothesis and go in with no light and see if they can find their dolls. Many of the students will say that, you will, that they will be able to find the doll that is shiny or the doll that is made out of the light paper because that's their experience. They can see things that are light much easier. But when they go in, of course, they will find that they can't find the dolls because there is no light. Then you have a chance to have them revise their hypothesis and try something else. You're going to give them a light source. You can give them one of the light blocks or a flashlight and have them go into the cave and see what they can find. And they'll be able to find the dolls. So the first activity is all about how we need light to see. And the students also get a chance to uh, make a prediction, test their prediction, change a variable by introducing light, test it again, and come out with an observation. You can wrap up by having a conversation, and if you want to, this is a great introduction into talking about vision.